Okay, just a quick test, and um, we're looking at uh, doing a Gianetta G40 series. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick test run, quick five laps on the short one at Brands Hatch. We've got some uh, <clears throat> really nice custom libraries from uh, Race Department decking out all the cars. Um, just let me adjust my seating position. Sorry about that. Okay, Gianetta G40s. Uh, for those who don't know much about them, they're uh, their own little race series here in the UK, uh, which is a, an entry level point for saloon racing or closed wheel racing, whatever you want to call it. Mostly the field is teenagers cutting the teeth, getting into it. Cars are quite low powered. But really nice chassis, nice handling. Um, so the cars are fairly slow, as you can see. This gives the advantage, though, with sim racing, that things are close, and it gives you time to think because you haven't got a huge engine trying to kill you. Um, so you can concentrate on your racecraft and you know passing, setting up. Could, you know, passing manoeuvres and stuff, getting your racing lines down pat. Um, so, yeah, it's a um, really enjoyable series to race, so I think it will fit well with running a, you know, a 10 or a 12 series race on UK short circuits, sprint races. So the cars do handle like you'd expect. I was just holding back there. Right, let's go up the inside here. Let's try some uh, crazy passing maneuvers. See how these cars react to uh, being thrown around. One of the things, because they are low powered, you've got to maintain that speed in the corners and carry it through. Because you haven't got the power to kind of push you out. down there a bit. Somebody going for the inside. I would say that. So there's no uh, ABS, no trash control, anything like that as you can see. Rear wheel drive. AI is quite happy. They just feel like little GT3 cars about the electronic gubbins on them, which is a good thing. Just pull that nose in with a bit of trail braking, lovely. So it's only five laps, as I've probably already mentioned. Just getting to get a feel for them. Just trying to carry a bit more speed, just get the slip angle on with a little bit of uh, trail braking at the top of the hill. Trail brake all the way around there, just tighten it up. I have put a bit of rain for the uh, last lap and a half, which is just starting now. And we are using the uh, H shifter, okay. So this is uh, AMS's weather, so it might be raining at this side of the track, but not the other. The road looks clean, give them a bit of a tap there. Okay, bit of a shine there. The watch down the next what, next lap round. No spray, so we're uh, we're good. And I've put the AI on 95 just so I can uh, have a look at them and whiz round. That's the front of the pack just up there. Uh, we will be doing another live stream tonight if anybody wants to jump in. Open lobby. You're more than welcome to come in. We'll try not to do any ovals in the rain this time. That was a bit of a muck up on my part. Never put random weather in and forget about it. Can we get on the podium before the end? This corner's wet, or it was last time round. Oh, it's definitely wet. 
but the AI's pulled out. Just gone mad slide up the inside. Two wheels on the grass is not the best idea, but we're having a win. Yep, absolutely love the little Junior Gianetta G40. Can't praise it enough. Great car to race. It should be really good with some online lobbies. We'll try some tonight, actually. Right, adios.